In this video today, I will build a trench with a pillbox made from carton and cardboard. First, I gather 5 to 8 pieces of cardboard layers, depending on their thickness. Then I draw out a template for a preview of the trench layout. Then start gluing the layers one by one with the template layer glued on top. After gluing the layers, I then start digging out the trenches by cutting and peeling away pieces of the cardboard. Once dug out, I'll then start gluing pieces of paper to the surface, or you can use masking tape if available. For the pillbox, I used a piece of carton, then traced and cut out the parts. Once cut out, I then assemble the parts of the pillbox and its door together. The base plate of the pillbox was then glued onto the section that was dug out for it. The leftover cardboard was then used for the wooden planks. Once cut, I then glue them onto the walls and ground. For the sandbags, I used paper, rolled it up, then cut it into smaller pieces, and glued them down along the edges of the trench.
or the ground texture, I used ground cat sand by sprinkling it over the glued covered surfaces. While waiting for the glue to dry, I started to assemble the spotlight that will then be mounted on top of the pillbox. I also took the time to make some crates with some of the remaining carton. Once the glue has dried, I then move on to painting. I start off with using a white primer, then base coat it with a medium brown. The water is then painted with a mixture of medium green, medium brown, and gold brown. The wooden planks and duck boards are painted using black brown. The sandbags are painted using beige. and are then washed with a diluted field gray. The crates are painted using orange brown. The spotlight is painted using chrome silver and field blue. The pillbox door is painted in a mixture of olive green and natural steel. The pillbox itself is painted using neutral grey. I then add patches of grass by sprinkling it over glue covered surfaces. For a realistic water appearance, I brush on PVA glue to the surface area of the water. With the barbed wire, I used carton and thin pieces of twisted paper, then hardened them with super glue to hold their form.
They are then painted using burnt umber and natural steel. Once painted, I then glue them into position. That's also all for this video. I hope you'll like this one.